Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's talk about it, right? So uh, last night, weekend video, um, you know, I got all these emails and all these things. Great call on a thousand point rally. It, 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 it's not a great call, okay? It, it's not a great call. I'm not, uh, I'm not that smart. Uh, if you go back to uh, last night's video, uh, we, I made a pretty good case of why I thought this market uh, had a shot to rally 500,000 points in one day. I mean, we had a 4,000 point decline um, in three, four days in a row. Um, we're talking about collecting data over the last couple of days into last week, how beta names rallied into, you know, started rallying very, very strong uh, towards the end of the day, several days in a row before more uh, coronavirus news. So we knew all that, okay? Uh, the, the probability, the high probability, just based on what we talked about last night in the video and my years of doing this, for years and years in doing this, you knew if we were down 4,000 at some point this week, uh, there was a high probability of a thousand point rally. And we got it today, okay? We got it today. Uh, the bias was right. Um, you know, the market had a really, really aggressive uh, overnight pre-market session up, down, up, down, all over the place. And, and then you started seeing, you know, you started seeing stocks start to get a little pep in their step. It, it, it wasn't one of those obvious gap up 500 points and go. It wasn't a gap and go. It was a very, very lethargic, um, lethargic tape, especially in the morning. And, you know, I was sitting there literally for the first hour, okay, nothing was going on. Like literally nothing was going on. Um, I started watching all these pivots. I was making a list of all these pivots. Um, what we actually saw a bunch of strength this morning on names that were uh, that were remounts. Okay, so we played uh, remount plays today in the morning, and there was just no, there was nothing big there, man. There was just nothing there. Just the stocks were hesitating. They didn't want to go up. They couldn't go down. My actually, my first trade of the day uh, was a remount of this thing. Of all things, it was a remount of this thing. So I got long here, right? I got long here on the remount. What was it? I'm sorry, excuse me. I got it long here on the remount, and the stock is kind of went up, you know, I made some money there and I was just sitting there, just sitting there, sitting there. And then the, the, the greatest thing about trading when you're completely in control of what you're doing is, a, a, again, you don't have to sacrifice a day. You don't need to be that trader that's saying to yourself, you know what, I'm okay with, you know, kind of sitting out until I get that green light. And today was a perfect example of how we traded within the process, we waited and we waited we waited some more, and then next thing you know, stocks just exploded. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But you know, it, here is kind of where we, kind of the bottom line, and kind of, kind of where you you know tie a ribbon on this is again. I would have never even expected. I would have never even uh, even thought about uh, a potential thousand point rally if it wasn't for experience. And again, there's there's no price t there's no price tag on experience, guys. And what you don't know with your first, second, and third year of trading, you'll figure that out because you'll start seeing it along the way. So by the time you see it in year 10, 15, 20, it, it's, it's not shocking to you. So anybody on social media or on Twitter and stocks would turn around and say, well, how could somebody see a thousand point rally? I'm going to keep shorting into this. Well, again, there's a difference between somebody trading for two years and somebody trading for 20 years. And the one part about the who, who could see it coming is sometimes it's common sense. That's why we always talk about collecting data and having an opinion. If we didn't have an opinion going into this trading day, then yes, we would have been looking at opening range lows. We would have got caught and it would have been a disaster. So for all you guys who are new to trading and you, you find yourself you're hesitant or behind the eight ball or you can't see something coming. Remember, this is all normal. You're not supposed to understand that a market is oversold technically 
that a, a, you know a, a thousand point rally is coming. You, you haven't experienced that, so don't worry about it. That will come. So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Don't you know? Even if you missed today's rally, it's okay. It's just one trading day. One trading day, win, lose, or draw should never, absolutely never, and I underline and underscore it and everything in between, should never define who you are as a trader. It's all a growth process, okay? So you, whether you hit a lot of these pivots and a lot of these pivots just exploded towards the afternoon, mid-morning towards the afternoon, or missed the day, or unfortunately, we're on the wrong side because you kept on hearing this, well, this is a stupid rally, this is a stupid rally. Again, keep this in mind. Stocks don't go straight down, they don't go straight up. And, and again, I said this over the weekend, in the worst markets of all, this is including uh, the mortgage mess, the whole financial crisis, we had periods that we had spikes, 500, 700, 1,000 point moves. So when I turned around in the video and I said, hey, listen, I don't want to be short Monday morning, okay? I don't want to be short any day until we get at least an attempt, okay? At least an attempt at what I thought was going to be a 500, 1,000 point rally. If you look at the totals at the end of the day, Dow up 1,300 points. Uh, a lot of the move came, not a lot, but uh, a good chunk of the move came in the last uh, hour or so, half hour or so. Uh, the NASDAQ up 384 points, really, really big moves along the way. Um, so it was a pretty solid day. Um, the, the oddest part about today was, and again, this is where we speak from the devil's advocate point of view. The oddest part of the day was you would think by mid-morning when we were up 300 points, 400 points, you would have thought we would have been screaming. Okay, screaming. Again, Amazon took off, Tesla took off. We'll talk about those in a second. Netflix, and I made, and I did okay with Netflix, okay? I did with Netflix. I was fist fighting it for five minutes, okay? NVIDIA, I was fist fighting. Matter of fact, one of the trades I took on NVIDIA today, I lost money. I had to make some money back on NVIDIA a little bit later. But not everything was smooth, right? Not everything was smooth. Roku uh, wasn't smooth. NVIDIA, after it made its initial move, wasn't smooth. Facebook only woke up towards the last hour, okay? Apple was the biggest move of the day today by far. Microsoft was very, very strong. Uh, Shop had a big move and then it stalled. So was it one of those, oh my God, anything you bought at any time throughout the day, you would have made money? No, 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 no. I would, I would have to respectfully disagree. Anything you probably bought in the last half hour, you probably would have made money. Um, but again, does that mean, you know, we're going to go lower tomorrow? I personally think, this is my opinion, okay? I'm nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm just an idiot like everybody else, right? Here's where we are. And, I, and again, we showed this chart on the weekend update, okay? So here's kind of where we are, right? We're, we're, we're kind of in the middle of this last batch of selling. So somebody could turn around and say, well, you know, this is just an inside, you know, inside day in this weekly chart. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The same way... I could have made a case that we were going to be higher this week or lower this week. Because again, we're right in the middle of this 50% move from the, from the upside and 50% move to the downside. So we're right in the middle. So gun to my head. And again, just as one, I'm just a very humbled guy's opinion. I think if we don't come out with any type of Corona news that is hitting a major metropolitan city, LA, Chicago, NYC, right? I think there's probably going to be another round of buying tomorrow, okay? Does this mean we're going to rally till the end of the week? It means nothing, okay? We got to take it at this point, uh, day by day, trade by trade, interval to interval. Again, we're not trying to create the recreate the Mona Lisa. That's not what we're trying to do. If you're trying to swing for a five-run home run, just understand that's impossible because the, the biggest success you can have is organically. So you can't, you'll never swing and get that five-run home run. It doesn't exist. As far as, as far as I understand is Aaron Judge had zero five-run home runs last year. So it's impossible. So kind of stay within yourself. We're going to go one day at a time. Okay, one day at a time. Uh, I do believe, again, if we don't see any headlines uh, in the next 24 hours, I do believe we will have one more day of upward bias. Okay, and then somewhere by midweek, again, we probably will roll over. But again, again, all speculation, right? All speculation based on headlines and everything in between. Um... I think the key right now, the, the key right now is, is definitely to continue. This is what we've been, we've been really trying to, um, really trying to take the drive a point home that 
on every pivot, just keep on taking money. Even if you screw up and, and, and you have break even on the balance, keep doing that because again, there's no guarantees in this thing. Just the way there was no guarantee for a thousand point move, there's no guarantee we're gonna continue tomorrow and there's no guarantee we're gonna sell off tomorrow. We have to be adults about it and we have to kind of put everything into a macro perspective from the feasibility study, from the feasibility point of view. So going into tomorrow, again, continue to take scalps, a dollar, two dollar, use break even, use runners, blah, 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 blah and just kind of keep on going forward until we get a clear path to the goal line, until we get uh, another definitive sign that even though, and this could be the most bullish sign of them all, even though if we still get more and more bad negative corona headlines, if the market starts to absorb it and starts going numb to it, then we can start going higher. Uh, just a quick last announcement, uh, today, uh, tonight, okay, tonight, uh, March the 2nd, is the last night that you can take advantage of the PS60 feed uh, on the current rate, it will go up at midnight. Okay, it will, the, the 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 rate will double at midnight. So if you are waiting uh, and you want to and, and you want to act, you want to get on the feed on the, on the Twitter feed uh, on the Tesla, excuse me, on the on the private uh, pivot feed, uh, act tonight. It's going to go uh, into a new price uh, as of midnight. So if you are interested, uh, after you see this video and all that stuff. Uh, get on the feed and uh, take advantage of the current rate. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, the pivots today. Okay, so this is the one I really wanted. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll show you a pivot I took on uh, Netflix uh, on Netflix uh, after I actually had a pretty decent pivot on it. But this is the number I really really wanted. If you notice, this was the first this was the first pivot of the day, and I said, well, Netflix takes out the three seventy seven. I think it's going to go. The problem was I already logged off. By three o'clock, I already logged off. I had some errands to run and I missed this Netflix pivot at 377. Okay, so here's the 377 pivot. I loved that pivot. I loved it at 377. And I turned around and da 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 da, it went to almost 382 in the last half hour. If you got it, God bless. I didn't get it. Just understand I will be hating and trolling on you uh, from the sidelines. No, all, all jokes aside, great job. I did catch this pivot right here. Uh, this was the 73. I'll show you. It'll be a little bit higher in the feed here. Uh, Roku just never never came up with a second entry. Uh, 1530, 1550. It went to 16 and change, and that's it. And that's it. Uh, shop also, you know, I got long at 85. It went to like 87 and change. Right, it got to like 87 and change, just just stalled out, just absolutely stalled out, like a lot of names in the beginning. And I took some sales, I, I got stopped out, break even on the balance. Again, just it was like a dollar, dollar and change move. Um, so it wasn't great. LRCX exploded, LRCX 296 needs to build. Uh, here was LRCX, here's the 296, right? Here's the 296, this whole area here. Uh, went to almost 303. Uh, Nvidia. 277 needs to build, um, 277 needs to build on NVIDIA. Uh, again, it just it just didn't get there. I, I, I traded the pivot early in, in, in an earlier cycle. I bought it the first time at like 72 and it stalled on me. And I wound up losing $1.30 and I bought it back. I wound up making like 50, 60 cents on some and break even on the balance. I, I didn't have a good experience on the video today. I just didn't. It was just... It was like pulling teeth and never never came close to to reclaiming the 277 level, which is very, very odd. Uh, ENPH, big move, uh, 51 rejected three times and needs to rebuild and reclaim and build. Here was uh, ENPH, right? Here was ENPH, here was the 51. It went all the way to 52 and a half. Not a bad move there uh, as well. And I kept on saying, stay patient. We're in no man's land. This is kind of what we saw in the morning and I tweeted out and I said, hey, man, I haven't, this is before I did the first remount on XAIR. I tweeted out and I said, man, I haven't done a thing today. In the first hour, hour and a half, I haven't done a thing. And then next thing I know, uh, I did XAIR, I did Netflix. Uh, in, the, in the video, I traded twice. Uh, once I lost money, made some money back, made some money on shop. Uh, and then things got very, very aggressive, right? Things got very, very aggressive. Um, this obviously never came. Apple just absolutely exploded, absolutely exploded. And this is where the day really, really took off. Uh, Apple 284.30 needs to build. Here was the 284 and Apple. Congratulations, guys. So guys who, I mean, destroyed this trade. Here was the 284, right? Here's the 284.30 right here, right? This confirmed that just, just bananas, absolutely bananas move in Apple. Uh, stamp 4780.148. If it builds, it can go. Here was stamp, S-T-M-P, right? Here was stamp. Uh, here's the 147.80, went to uh, 151. 
Uh, oops, excuse me, let me, sorry about this. Let me get rid of this. Um, let me get rid of this. Um, 5780, again, Apple, take on the way, it's a tight day. Again, remember, take on the way, it was a tight day. It really did show how things woke up very aggressively after, uh, after mid-morning. So this is the first one to really get going uh, on Apple. Uh, stamp, again, 157 supply, takes them off. Here's the pivot I took. Uh, I took this Netflix pivot, uh, made sales in the 75s, 75, excuse me, 75 was my highest sale. Uh, 75 was my sale. And I was like, that's it. I'm good with the trade. I'm, I'm okay with that. It went up a little bit more and then it crashed. Then it woke up later and it took out that 77, which it really kind of peed off about because I wasn't there. Uh, so that, that, again, keep an eye. Again, guys, just keep taking guys. Same formula doesn't change. Amazon exploded. Uh, Amazon absolutely exploded. Uh, 1900 needs to build. Here was Amazon, right? Here was an Amazon pivot right here. It was right over here. 1900, the first move was like, up 33 points, huge move on Amazon. Uh, and then, you know, again, nice move on Apple. And then here we go. Okay, NVIDIA, this is, the, this is the trade that I took. This is the trade that I took. The first one I lost and then made some money back on the second one. But here is Tesla, guys. And this is why, again, this is the best stock ever. 708 needs to build, right? Needs to be, again, sell on the way up. And again, here is Tesla, the big, greatest stock of all time, right? So here is the, seven, uh, here is the 708 on Tesla, it was right over here. Here's right over here, 707, if you see it right here, 707.77, the first candle went to 727 and then obviously it went nuts after. So that was big, selling the way uh, as well. Amazon selling the way as well. Amazon flying, blah, blah, blah. Nice move on EMPH. So things got very, very aggressive. Uh, very, very aggressive, very, very fast. And that's the name of the game. Uh, just waiting for things to happen. We didn't rush. We waited for our spots. We had like two or three uh, good bounce plays. And the moral of the story is we did our job as adults. So going into tomorrow, yes, I am uh, biased to the, to, the, to the upside. I would love a downward open, okay? I would love to see a downward open for tomorrow uh, just because to see if the market is strong, just to see some... Uh, late or excuse me, early shorts to get trapped. Uh, that would be great. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow's session. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow's session. Um, I like this VVNT. Okay, I like this VVNT. Um, two ways to play it: either a build above today's high of twenty-two ninety twenty-three, or watch the fifty-two week high of twenty-four dollars. Keep an eye on that. Um, I kind of like Disney, right? I kind of like Disney. Uh, I like the way it closed above the Bollinger Band. If it starts building above 120, you could see a move to like 21 and a half, 22. So keep an eye on that. And uh, everything else is beta. Let me just give you one more that's non-beta. Let me give you one more that's non-beta. Uh, keep an eye on Stamp. Yeah, Stamp's not really a beta name. Keep an eye on Stamp. Uh, guys, watch Stamp. If Stamp starts building... Uh, over 151, you could get another uh, leg up as well. Uh, for everything else, Tesla, Netflix, uh, NVIDIA, Facebook, uh, please get to Morning Strategy again tomorrow uh, at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Get there early. We'll cover all those. Again, for all you guys who are uh, planning to join us on the Twitter feed, again, take advantage uh, this evening. Lock in your rates so tomorrow uh, you'll be ready to go. All right, guys, have a great night, everybody. Good job today, and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.